Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Uh, so today I'm going to take another topic and this topic is uh, with connection with my previous topic which is uh, related to document splitting. So if you have not watched that video, first check that video. Coming to the uh, current topic. In this topic, uh, last time some queries was also there related to document splitting, uh, particularly zero balance clearing. So I have given one scenario there, uh, maybe it was not clear. So let me explain once again with another business scenario. So first of all, what is uh, zero balance clearing account and when it is applicable? As you know, there are three types of document splittings are available. One is your active splitting, passive splitting and zero balance splitting. And uh, sometimes you will find the use of zero balance splitting will be there along with maybe passive splitting. So first let's understand what is zero balance splitting. Zero balance splitting means system is going to add this uh, account or basically the, you can say this is one clearing account, this is one uh, technical account that is updated automatically by the system. I mean being user, user is not going to enter any line entries here uh, for in the document. User will post the document as it is. For example, let's say I need to make a payment. So here I'm going to select uh, my bank account. I'm going to select let's say vendor automatically. So I'm uh, I mean uh, I will process the document as normal document. But let's say in that particular document multiple profit centers are there. So it can be profit center, it can be segment, it can be anything. And let's say the document is not balanced. <clears throat> Maybe you will find that uh, one profit center uh, credit is missing. Uh, let's say user posted uh, debit entry or somewhere, uh, for example, let's say uh, credit is there, debit is missing, debit is there, credit is miss miss missing. That means from the input, whatever we have provided or the user has entered in the document. So the document accounting point of view maybe it is correct. So we have equal debit and credit. But when we are going to check that report or profit center point of view, segment point of view when we are going to check the report. So that time the document is not balanced. As a result when we will prepare let's say for example profit center wise we are preparing the balance sheet, then you will find half informations are there. So debits are there, credit is missing, credits are there, maybe there, debit is missing or let's say one profit center uh, incomplete information is there from the reporting point of view. So in that case system is going to add couple of more line items in the particular document splitting. Uh, I mean uh, in the GL view, entry view you will not get anything, in GL view you will get more information related to document splitting and all these entries also will be there in your, uh, of course it is there in the GL view means it will be there in your AC docket table. So uh, let me show you one document here, let me show you one, we will post one entry in the system, SAP system and we will see that. Then uh, I am going to take here two expenditures, so electricity cost is 1500, then gas cost is 500 and these are to my prof, uh, cost centers. So automatically on the basis of the cost center system is going to profit center. Now in this case you can see uh, F100 having the debit entry, F200 having the credit entry and this balance sheet line items in this line there is no doc, uh, I mean profit center is there. Right, so let's post this document and then we will see whether in this document zero balance is applicable or not. Now in this case zero balance is not going to applicable automatically once I will go to the GL view. So in that GL view you will find the document uh, because here uh, like you will find that this document will be splitted this document is going to split and this document is going to split. So here zero balance will not applicable, active splitting will be there. Then after that I am going to make this payment for this particular ven uh, vendor invoice, then there you will find the zero balance. But before SAP let me show you the uh, example. So I am going to post a uh, payment entry. What I am going to do in this payment entry? So last time my vendor invoice was 2000, so I am going to make that payment. So here I will add the payment term so that uh, discount earned will be there. So vendor is going to be debit because last time it was uh, credit, so vendor this time is going to debit. Then of course payment entry means bank will be there. Now in this bank I am going to use third payment, uh, your uh, profit center. You can see in this case, in this original document, I am using F100, F200 profit center or I will use cost center, system is going to pick that particular profit center. Now at the time of payment, there is a third document, uh, third uh, profit center will be there. Now here document is not going to balance and the need of zero balance clearing will be there. So when discount on will be there, so there also I am not going to any, any anything. So here you are going to see the zero balance splitting. So let's post this expenditure entry. So I am going to log into SAP system and uh, then we will post it.
So I will post a very simple invoice, a B60 entry. Okay, so here I'm going to select my vendor. Supplier selected, then take the date. So I'm selecting today's date. And as for example, so amount will be 2000. So 2000 is vendor credit. And also let put add here uh, the tax, input tax. So some more lines also you will find there. Now again, let me, let me repeat here. In this example, you will not find the zero balance. You will find the active splitting. Then uh, take some uh, debit entries, the GL account. So here, uh, let me take here one GL account as debit entry. So let's make it 1500 as per example. And uh, here I will take the cost center. So cost center I am going to take here 1001 in, for this line. One more uh, GL account I'm going to take here, expenditure 4016, 500. For this, I'm going to take the cost center as per example, 2002. So debit and credit match and 2002. Now this document is uh, also automatically pick the profit centers. So I got the profit center, F100 profit center, F200 profit center because of cost center. And for this, there is no profit center is there. Now simulate it. This is your entry view simulation, but we will see in GL view. Okay, so you can see here the document is uh, split it. Right, so let's post it, then you will get more clarity. Also check the export mode if any error is there. No, no error is there. So post it. Right, now check this docu document. Here I forgot to add the payment terms. I will do that. Okay, it's posted. Uh, so here uh, I will add that. But let's see the document. So right now I'm in entry view. In entry view, you can see this uh, first line profit center is not there. I mean, a default profit center is there because of my configuration. The last line also default profit center is there. Now in this case, document is balanced or accounting point of view it is uh, correct, but reporting point of view it is not correct because two line items profit center is not there. And secondly, in these two line items also you, you can see the need of splitting is required because F100 debit entry is there, F200 debit entry is there, but credits are missing. Now if you go to the general ledger view, here you can see the document, uh, every line item splitted accurate properly. So this is my GL view, so accounts payable two lines. This one was my entry and this line also it's split. Now in this case splitting is applicable but here zero balance clearing account is not applicable because there is no need of zero balance. This one is your act active splitting. If I want to sort the data I can sort this data on the basis of profit center now you can see. So document is balanced right. So now I'm going to make this payment or I'm going to make the payment for this document but before that I need to add a payment terms so that discount factor will be there. Right, so we will make the payment. So I will make the payment web-53 and in there we will see the zero balance. I'm expecting zero balance because I'm going to make the payment with a third document, uh, third profit center. So let's make the payment. Now what is uh, payable amount? I don't know. Discount will be there. Let's take the outgoing account. I don't know the payable amount as per the payment terms. So just I entered here one so that I can continue and uh, clearing date. Now here I'm going to add the third payment uh, profit center because in my example, like I, I selected here bank F300. So I'm going to add a third payment, uh, I mean profit center so that it will be not, it will not be balanced. So I'm going to add here profit center F300. 
So it is not there in the original document. So select the open item. Couple of more line items are there just to ignore. So we will take today's entry. So this one. So activate. So payable amount as per uh, this payment terms after discount it is 1900. Let's correct it. Right now let's simulate. Okay, so two line items showing error. Let me check what is the error here. Right, business area is missing as per my field settings configuration. Just randomly I selected one business area here. Second line also same. Now check this entry. Now you can see here suddenly some more line entries are there which was not there in our original document, right? So here you can see in every line items profit center is there. Whereas I have not entered uh, profit center for my payment and uh, vendor entry. So automatically on the basis of your previous active splitting in this is actually combination of both the splitting passive splitting as well as zero balance splitting. So you can see here a couple of line items one, two, three, four. These four line items are added from system I have not entered. So system added this zero balance as per our configuration to make the document balanced. So check if any error is there. No, no error. So it is perfect. Now post it. Now the document I got here, this document, right now I'm in entry view. So in entry view, you can see this document is not splitted properly, right? So in this account, uh, here two line items having the profit center because of original entry, because of uh, our active entry, because with expense, I posted that time the cost center. So that is why system picked the profit center. But in balance it line items, no profit center. The last line, no profit center. If I will go to general ledger view, now you can see it's splitted. So here both passive as well as zero balance splittings are there. Okay, so as here I introduce the third uh, um, profit center that is a F300. So automatically system split all these line items as per the need or as per the profit center. So uh, here you can see the F300 we have equal debit and equal credit because what I entered, I entered 1900 as my payment entry with F300 then corresponding debits was or debits are missing so that is why system here added two more line items as zero balance okay so zero balance having this this is a technical account this is a technical account you will find a zero balance the name itself is zero balance so in configuration we can incorporate this account so that in reporting when we will take the profit and loss uh, data or related to balance sheet particularly a profit center or it can I'm using example here profit center it can be segment it can be business area it can be anything as for our configuration so automatically system introduce a couple of line entries these are uh, in our GL view and these documents you will not find all these entries you will not find in your entry view if I will go to BSEG in BSEG you will not find these entries you will find only in let's check in table so if I will go to BSEG because it's only there in your GL view. So this is my document number 15007. Okay, so the right now in BSEG, just check. Check here. So how many lines are there? So it is only having the four line items. Whereas in GL view, the line uh, having the nine line entries are there. So those you will find in the AC docket table. Now this document is accounting point of view it is correct. So debit credits are balanced, but reporting point of view, the data, all the data not available. So if we'll check the same document in AC docket table, I'm just taking the same document. Now you can see here uh, in this uh, document, like all this, uh, so this is my table view, AC docket table. So here you can see more line entries are there. And particularly we will check the zero balance account. 
So you will find along with our other information, so zero balance accounts having the data. So these all are my zero balance. So this account number 2016 is my zero balance account. That is what uh, I configured. So here you can see 2016 is my zero balance account. So all these zero balance having the profit centers are there. So 2016 we have profit center because I introduced F300 profit center because of that there is a need of proper splitting is there. So this could be one example where you can put that this is the use of zero balance alone. This is not only example like this in any business scenario when the document is not balanced and system need to add some more line items to make the document balanced. Balance again not from the accounting point of view, not to balance debit credit, to balance with the characteristics. It may be profit center, it may be business area, it may be segment. In this example, I'm using profit center. So I hope it is clear now. If still any question, please let me know.